welcome to sisrekha's arts today i am going to show you how to stitch a sari fall on a zigzag machine in my earlier video i have shown how to make your own sari fall if you haven't watched that video please do watch it will be very helpful when you don't find a matching sari fall this is the sari fall that i made now i am going to attach this sari fall on my sari i am going to attach the sari fall from the end that goes inside which is not the pallu side leave a hand size space and then start attaching from there i will show you on a different sari see i left one hand size and then started from there i am going to align the sari with the fall and put the pins along the way so it is easy to work with Okay, you can see I put the pins all the way down with some distance in between. Now I am going to start stitching from the bottom. Hold it in such a way that the sari is on the top and the fall is on the bottom. And take it to the machine, put it under the foot of the machine and put the needle down now the sari is in the place and it won't move i already loaded the needle with the same color thread now let me show you how i set the zigzag numbers it has 0 to 5 numbers 0 is the straight stitch and the 5 is wide zigzag it may be different on your machine the middle numbers 2 and 3 are good for sari falls 4 and 5 are too wide so they don't really look good on the sari falls. I set mine to number 3. I suggest you to try different numbers on a separate cloth and decide which one you like. Start stitching right at the edge. With your other hand hold the sari on the back of the foot just to give some support but do not pull it hard. Go slowly, do not rush and try to do as straight as you can. Remove the pins as you go. came to the end uh, remove the pin and I am going to stitch to the end and stop right at the corner now put the needle down so the sari won't move now let us see how the zigzag stitch came out I think it looks good. It came out straight. This is how it looks on the back side. That means on the fall side. While the needle is down, I will turn the sari sideways so that I can stitch the side of the fall. just like this hold it with both hands and stitch it down and stop at the corner with this I finished the bottom side of the fall and on the one small side now I am going to turn the sari sideways again while the needle is down and then stitch on the top of the fall while you move the sari the foot can be raised up and then put it down 
now i am stitching the top side of the sari fall smooth it out in between so it won't come out puffy and whenever you pause the needle should be down while the needle is down i'm going to turn it this way just a half inch just a half inch i went back and double stitching so it will be strong now oh, let us see how it is on the corner this is how i just turned you can see how i turned i came up to here and then turn this side okay it's very easy just to keep the needle down and then raise the foot and turn the fabric and then again put the foot down and stitch like this okay it came out really good okay this is how it looks on the back see Thank you so much for watching my video.